Are you exhausted spending hours and hours every single day trying to set sales appointments for yourself? And the more time you spend on this, the harder it is for you to work on the other areas of your business that you really need to focus on for growth. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why hiring an appointment setter is the perfect solution that will allow you to fix this problem. And if you can do it well, you'll be able to scale your business to the seven and even eight figures and beyond. Everyone here knows that generating sales appointments really is the lifeblood of essentially any business. No sales calls means no deals, and no deals means no profit. But the problem is, managing appointment setter on your own for your agency or SaaS company or other high ticket service offering actually ends up being a bottleneck that will hold you back from pushing your business forward. So here's why it makes sense to hire a setter to solve this bottleneck. The first thing is, setters will allow you to truly scale sales. When I began my business in 2019, it took only around eight months for me to push it to around $30,000 in profit a month. But at this point, I was spending four to five hours a day just setting appointments. I literally had no additional room to grow and that's because between closing deals and booking calls and even working with clients, I was already out of calendar space. If anything, I was pushing 80 hours a week worth of work. So if I wanted to close more deals, I needed to actually be able to generate more sales calls, which I couldn't do on my own, and I definitely needed to have time to do the sales calls, which I also could not do because my calendar was already filled. So as soon as I hired my first appointment setter, I saved those four to five hours of work every single day that was normally spent on booking appointments. And then all of that time was then put back into closing deals or doing other strategic things for the business. As well, since the appointment center that I hired was working more than just four to five hours every single day, we were booking pretty much twice as many meetings as we were back when I was doing all of the setting by myself. So within two months, we pretty much doubled our revenue and throughout the rest of the year, I hired another three setters and we obviously continue to scale in a somewhat linear fashion. So setters allow your time to be allocated towards more important things, but it allows you to generate probably double, triple, even 5x the amount of leads that you were doing before on your own. Now, the second reason why hiring an appointment setter can be so fundamentally impactful is because it now allows you to allocate that time towards doing more strategic things. So as a sales leader or a CEO, it's important that you're thinking about your time in a very strategic way. Specifically, you wanna ask yourself this question, which are the activities that are actually worthy of being a CEO level activity? Let's say your business is doing around $20,000 in profit per month. If you're working 40 hours a week, that's 160 hours a month, and that means you should be valuing your time at around $1,250 per hour. If you think about appointment setting, do you think about it as a $1,000 per hour task? And the answer should be no, because you can definitely hire someone who can do that job for you well at much less than $1,000 an hour. This is a fairly consistent, repeatable, scalable process that you can document and give to someone else. It's not so complicated that you should be even considering spending nearly that much amount of time per hour on it. So what are the tasks that might be worthy of being a CEO level activity? A task that might push the entire business forward in a way which no one else can. Well, first of all, it's important to recognize that the definition of a CEO level activity depends on the size of your company, right? Like if you're Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg, a CEO level of activity is probably overseeing acquiring like a billion dollar company to build into your business. Now, as small business owners, we're obviously not gonna be working on that scale, but a strategic activity might be coming up with the next product that we're gonna be launching. It might be hiring a new operations manager to take over a lot of the things that we're currently doing ourselves right now. So it's ultimately up to you to reflect on how you can best utilize your time. But no matter what you choose to do with that time, you need to first have that time in the first place in order to do those things. And that's what having an appointment setter allows you to do. Because initially, if you're bottlenecking on how much time you're spending on sales, to relieve yourself of four to five hours of work every single day means you now have four to five hours to put into anything else that you would prefer to put it on. Now, the third benefit of having an appointment setter is that you can take advantage of payroll arbitrage. 
So what essentially this means is that you can actually find a very skilled top tier level setter for just a couple thousand dollars a month, if not less. To give you a few examples, my first setter ever, Luigi, I hired him actually to work remotely from Paraguay. He had a base salary of $1,000 USD. Honestly, there are some setters who make even less of a base than that. But with commissions, he could earn up to four or $5,000. That being said, the amount of deals that he was bringing in on a good month was probably around $50,000, if not more. So he was consistently doing over 10 times the return relative to his compensation. Now, if you want to make this 100% commission rule, you can even go that way and then you have zero risk whatsoever. But even with Luigi getting paid a thousand dollar base, that's really not that much. And he's only gonna make a lot if he's also getting me paid given the amount of deals he's bringing in. Here's another example, right? My company actually helps other companies outsource and hire and train sales reps. So I actually found this really talented salesperson. Her name was Lavon from South Africa, and I placed her at a client of mine who works with recruiting agency. When she arrived at this company, they were doing roughly 40 to $50,000 a month. But within the first 90 days of Lavon joining that company, they actually doubled their total revenue to over $100,000 a month, and now she was making around three and a half to four and a half thousand dollars in her own income. So this three and a half to four and a half thousand dollars, they're now paying that alone, and they're generating an extra fifty thousand dollars from it. So if you do the math, that's like once again another ten to fifteen x return on investment given Levon's salary. Part of the reason why is once again we are hiring her, a super talented salesperson from South Africa, a country which despite being completely fluent in English, it's literally their primary language, they just have a cost of living which is like 25% of someone who lives in the US or Canada. So only when you start outsourcing and hiring appointment setters from around the world can you really take advantage of, once again, this payroll arbitrage. Now, before I share this last benefit of having a setter, please like and subscribe this video because I'll be sharing with you a ton more free and epic content all about building sales teams and improving your marketing funnel and just growth in general for entrepreneurs. This final element is that having setters will allow you to lead the foundation for your future sales team. So as you continue to scale, whether it be at 50K, 100K, or even 500K a month, the reality is you're gonna need more and more salespeople. Not just setters, of course, that's a given, but you'll even need to hire more closers to take on those setting calls. You might even one day have to hire a sales manager to manage all of this. When I bring this all up, it can sound a little bit intimidating, which is why you first start with a setter. Because in my opinion, the setter is A, a role that's somewhat easy to hire for, but B, if a setter performs really well, it's the natural progression of their career to actually move on to the closer role. So if your first setter becomes your next closer, then you can just hire a setter to replace your first setter instead of needing to hire a closer brand new, which is a much more challenging uh, activity to do. For me, my best hires have always been internal promotions. Flashing back to Luigi, he was my first setter. He performed incredibly well, and within just six months, I was already giving him closing responsibilities, and he not only deserved it, but he was actually asking for it, which is interestingly one of the good qualities that I'm always looking for when I'm hiring, just the hustle and the ambition. So with that being said, you should now understand the value that comes with hiring an appointment setter. However, how do you actually find this talent and how do you build them into your sales team? Well, I actually recorded an entire video that breaks this entire process down from A to Z, step by step, how you can hire your first closer and how do you build out an entire sales team. So check it out here. Beyond that, I've actually helped over 120 plus companies already when it comes to building out their sales team and when it comes to really reaching next levels of profitability. So if that's you and you wanna actually ask me directly for help, just book a call with me below. My calendar link is actually in the description box and you can find it. And that way we can sync up and I can give you a couple recommendations, all right? So once again, this is Lloyd, founder and CEO of Attract and Scale. Really excited that you were able to stick around with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.